All right, welcome back, miners. Mr. Voorhees here. Uh, this is an instructional video for you um, that's going to show you a couple of the steps and uh, tips and whatnot in order to construct your trusses for your bridge. So, without further ado, um, we'll go ahead and get started. Stand by while I adjust the camera here. All right, that looks pretty good. So, um, at this point, you've got your design finalized. Okay, you'll notice I did add a couple extra um, webs to my truss. Did the calculation for that, and I came up um, with a total of 169 inches for both trusses, and that left me with 71 inches of also wood to um, use for my top cord beams and bottom cord beams. So um, my design's set. Okay, I've got all my balsa wood. Okay, I've got my wax paper, got a foam board, and I've got my T-pins. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do first. Get your drawing situated on this foam board. <clears throat> Lay that wax paper over it, okay? And this is an important step that you don't wanna forget, and that's attaching your wax paper, and that's to prevent um, the glue from sticking to your paper, okay? Because you're gonna have to um, use this drawing and layout to build two trusses. You're gonna have to do it uh, one at a time, you know? Build one of them, let that glue dry overnight, take that truss off, and then repeat the process. So what I'm gonna do for you today here is basically um, show you some of the steps on how to start. Okay, so traditionally, um, we're gonna use a cutting board or some hand snips to be, um, or to, to cut our balsa wood. But given, given the situation here, I'm gonna send you home with some scissors just because we don't have enough of those cutting boards to go around. So the, the scissors are sharp enough to cut the wood. Um, and uh, before I get started, let's go over a couple do's and don'ts, okay? So when <clears throat> you're building these, you're gonna have two different type of cuts. You're gonna have squared cuts where you cut it directly across your balsa wood, okay? So that'd be a square cut. But then you're gonna have some angled cuts, okay? With these web members that are angles, um, you're gonna find that if you make a cut for those web members to attach to the top cord, um, if you cut them with a squared end, they're not gonna connect to that top cord very well. And then you're gonna be relying on glue um, for that joint to hold together when I test it, okay? So what we wanna avoid is this, okay? And what we wanna do is an angled cut that matches the angle that this all intersects, okay? Another example, um, this might represent situation on either end of my bridge here. Um, again, match the angle that that web is intersecting uh, the top cord, okay? And I'll show you how to do that here in the next couple steps. Okay, so the first items I'm gonna wanna um, start cutting is gonna be the top, bottom, and then the ends, okay? Um, if you wanna do these one at a time, you can. <clears throat> um, however, you can measure each piece and cut two of them just because you know that you're gonna build two trusses. So anyway, for this, for this video, I'm just gonna build one truss and I'm just gonna cut one each. Okay, so take your stick and line it up with a corresponding member of your truss and make a mark with your pencil for where you need to cut it. Okay, so there's one. Okay, and I'm gonna set that off to the side. <clears throat> then for the next one, for the bottom cord, same process. 
Okay. Make a mark with your pencil where you need to cut. Okay. And then go ahead and cut it. Okay. So I've got my top and bottom. Set all your loose pieces aside. Most likely going to use those for other uh, web members and, and whatnot. Um, and you'll notice that on this drawing, I thicken those um, lines that represent the balsa wood. And that's basically so I can align it perfectly okay, uh, with the, each one of the trusses that I'm building. If I didn't color those lines in, then building one truss and then the other, you have the possibility of forgetting kind of where um, your bridge got laid out. You know, you could align this balsa wood on top of your line or on the bottom of the line. And if you uh, got those somewhat reversed from one truss to the next, then you won't have two identical trusses. And then uh, lo and behold, your, your truss or your bridge um, won't yield good, good results when I test them. Okay, so anyhow, <clears throat> We've got our top and bottom, okay? Now I'm going to, let's see, pin those in place with my T-pins. Okay, get it lined up. That looks good. Just push it all the way down into your foam board to kind of hold that in place. Okay, and then another good practice um, <clears throat> is don't put these T-pins in in a location where you're gonna be adding glue. Okay, it makes it a lot more difficult to remove these pins if they have glue all um, wadded up in them. So, top one's in place, and I'm gonna go ahead and align the bottom cord. Okay, I like it. <clears throat> Hope everybody's doing okay. I'm gonna add, let's put one here, and then I'll add one more on this side. Okay, those look pretty good. I'm gonna add one more to the top. Okay, so those aren't going anywhere. Okay, now that allows me to take my next piece that I'm gonna cut and somewhat get it in alignment with the line on my drawing. Okay, so this is an important step. You want to overlap this joint in any of the joints that you plan on cutting. And then carefully make a mark at the angle where this piece intersects with this piece. So you kind of just got to side it in there and make your marks with your pencil for where you're going to cut. Okay, you can kind of see that those lines that I marked are at an angle. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and trim these off. Okay. <clears throat> and then one of the benefits of having a symmetrical bridge is that I know this piece I just cut is gonna be identical to the other end. Okay, so I can take this one, overlay it onto the piece I just cut. Okay, so the ends of those match as far as the cutting angle. So on the next one, I can very simply just make that mark and then cut. Okay, not so bad. So let's see how that fits in. Pretty good. Use your T-pins to lock it in place if it fits. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and install that last one on the left. Again, keeping in mind that you wanna keep those T-pins away from areas that you're gonna apply glue. Okay. okay, so that's my frame for my truss. Now, 
Um, I've got a couple options. I can go ahead and cut eight more of these, same size, because I've got eight portions of the triangles left to cut, okay? And they're all gonna be the same size because they're identical triangles. So I can repeat that. I could also cut all these vertical pieces, um, and I think that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do next. Okay, so let's see, line this up from top to bottom, and then make a mark for my straight cut or my squared cut. Trim those off. Okay, double check that it fits. Looks like it's gonna be nice and snug in there. So I can go ahead and repeat. <clears throat> um, I've got five of these, I need four more. So I can go ahead um, and just duplicate. So let's see. And don't get in a hurry with this, take your time. This is one of the most important steps making your bridge. You can have a, a solid design, it could be the best design ever, but if you kind of rush through this, <clears throat> your design won't be so much worth anything if, if your bridge isn't put together properly. So, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just um, repeat that process, making all these the identical size and length. This one needs a little trim. I'll fine tune that. Okay, so once you get <clears throat> um, all your pieces cut up, um, then it's time to start gluing, okay? So for the sake of time, I'm not going to do that with this video, um, showing you how to cut e each individual piece. Um, I'm just gonna demonstrate how you would start gluing once you have all your pieces uh, cut. So the first pieces you wanna glue together are the, the perimeter, just like the order that we followed for cutting. So um, you're gonna have to pull your pins, okay? And then for that particular member, <clears throat> you wanna get the glue bonded in between where they're gonna connect. You don't wanna just necessarily drop a glue on top of it, okay? You wanna get a good bond for where those pieces connect to one another. So basically, um, looks like I've got a dried up glue bottle. Let's see if we can find another one real quick. Okay, back in action. So put a drop of glue in the locations where you know that those pieces are gonna get connected. Okay, and then you kinda gotta act somewhat quickly. You don't make a big old mess. Okay, so that one's glued together. And then that one's looking good. I'll put this pin back in the middle to make sure it doesn't move, okay? So I've got a little bit of glue connecting those pieces together. I'm gonna go ahead and repeat that process for the bottom cord. Okay, just add a little drop of glue. Oh, grab the wrong one, there we go. Okay. Get that put in place. Secure it with your T-pins. Okay. <clears throat> and that's that. And so that's the frame that you wanna get started with. <clears throat> and then with each additional piece you're gonna glue in, you could simply Add a little glue to those, get it in place. And 
lock it in with a T-pin. Okay, so that's about it. Um, just kind of re repeat for all the other web members, make sure you've got a solid connection, focus on the angle of your cuts, okay? And have fun. That's it. Thanks for watching.